the camera had fallen off the tripod five times already. Me just trying. <laughs> the camera had fallen six times. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Evelina, if this is your first time watching any video of mine, and I don't know what I was doing with my hands, but okay. This week is my birthday, and you're watching this, and my birthday had already passed, but I'll be 19, and I thought it would be cool to film a video on 19 things that I've learned basically throughout my 19 years, or almost 19 years of living on this earth. 19 is still pretty young, but if you think about it, it's actually a long time. 19 years is... It's a, it is a long, it's, that's 19 years, that, that's, that's that. First thing that I, I mean, this isn't going to be in no particular order, just of what comes to my mind, but <laughs> the first thing is, I can't believe it took me 19 years to realize this, but thank God I did. You won't be able to please every single person. I always knew that in the back of my mind, but so because I never really had the experience until recently not anything bad or so serious or that i'm making poor life decisions although i probably am a general thing you won't be able to please everybody and i can't believe it took me 19 years almost 19 years to actually realize that and to accept it and to just move on second thing that i've learned is food is freaking life and i understand that you need food to survive but Literally, most of my spending is on food. It is food or coffee. It is actually ridiculous. I don't think I need to explain that one that much, so. A third thing is that <laughs> adulting is so overrated. So overrated. I am just not going to speak anything else on the subject, but just it is freaking overrated. Number four. Getting a job is actually not that easy or how we usually think it may be sometimes you can get a job like yo like that right on the spot if you have connections but the process of it is pretty long you have to go apply and then you're lucky if you get an interview then after the interview orientation and then training and then you know it's a freaking pain number five is that there are freaking idiots on this planet not that they were dropped as a baby or that they actually might have some sort of disability but there are some people who just choose to be stupid and there's nothing you can do about it it is their decision and you can't you can't change it you can't have a say in it they are just like that and they make you cringe number six although I've always loved animals and I love dogs I've realized that they are just that they are animals. Um, I feel like I would always cry when a dog dies in a movie, but then when a person, I mean, you can, but when there's a dog dying, you are gonna freaking need like 10 boxes of tissues. And within like the past few months, I've realized, although they're amazing and I love them to death, they are just still animals. They're still just dogs and uh, they will never be higher or equal to a human life some people might be offended by that or get upset but that's just my outlook on it and the seventh thing that i have learned is that god is good and i've known that for many many years now but i feel like i haven't fully grasped my i still haven't fully grasped but not only is he good but he is always good and he's always just amazing me in like He's always just mind blowing me in every little thing he is involved in in my life and just how good he is and how merciful he is and how, how much he truly loves me and oh my gosh, he is so good guys. I can't even. The eighth thing that I've learned is cooking is so much harder than what those quick Instagram, Facebook videos make them out to be. Oh. They look so easy. Oh yeah, just get all these ingredients and mash it all up, chop it all up, and then just throw them in the pot and bam. No, that is not how it works. Why can't it be as easy as this person is doing it? <laughs> the ninth thing that I realized is it is perfectly okay to 
have a bad day or a day where you just feel so depressed or down and you need a sulk. There might not have been anything that really happened. And I think that's one of the harder things is accepting it whenever nothing necessarily happened. You just feel that way and you don't know why. If it's a daily basis thing, then obviously that's not healthy, but it's okay to have a bad day once in a while. The 10th thing that I've realized is that people truly are just people and we're all imperfect and we all make mistakes and even the closest ones to us can hurt us and we just have to accept that in the sense that, you know, they are just human. I'm just human and I make mistakes all the time. So why am I gonna hold someone to a higher standard in some sort of perfectionism whenever I can't even attain that? 11 things that I've learned is not to take myself seriously and it's still something that I'm working on and kind of striving for. But honestly, life is so hard. Life is so complicated. And so whenever we complicate ourselves or complicate the situations around us, that are already complicated is just unnecessary if you made a mistake or did something embarrassing at work or said something you didn't mean i mean okay brush it off apologize if you need to but brush it off you're human you and if you always take yourself so seriously you're just gonna have a hard life 11 thing that i've learned is that life never goes as planned there are some things that can go as planned like little bits of it but it's not gonna be the whole thing that goes as planned. I mean, that's life. It just never goes as planned. And that's quite frankly, the beauty of life. <laughs> the 12th thing that I learned is that my passions are towards music and um, singing and video editing. I've always loved singing and I've always envisioned myself in that, but I never, believe that I had a good voice or that I had a talent for it. I still don't really think I have a talent for it, but I have a passion for it and I don't think that's just out of nowhere or that's, that's for no reason, but I believe that if I have that passion, that means that God put that there and for a reason. The 13th thing that I've learned is relationships are hard and it doesn't matter what kind of relationship, whether it's with your parents, with your siblings, with your friends, with your significant other, they are all so hard because again, we're human and we're stubborn and we want our way and oh my gosh. In a way, kind of God also revealed to me that being in relationships with people if you let it, it will transform you for the better. You would have to lower yourself, that you would have to lower that ego to make things work and you'd have to sacrifice yourself and give yourself away and learn just not to be selfish. Stop thinking about yourself and put the other person before yourself because ultimately that's what Jesus teaches us to do anyway. The 14th thing that I've learned is learning an instrument is actually pretty time consuming and difficult and takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears because I've been playing guitar for a little over two years now and I mean I'm better than where I started but I feel like oh my gosh there's still so much to learn. Props to those who can play like 10 instruments. That is so freaking cool. The 15th thing that I've learned is that in the end everything is gonna work out although it might suck in the moment i know that everything's gonna be okay and i've been through so much crap and yet here i am sitting here i'm alive i'm breathing and i have a roof over my head and that actually leads me to number 16 in which i realized that there is so much to be grateful for just having a roof over your head having clean water to drink having food on the table for air conditioner for heater in the winter for a bed for carpet and the list just goes on the 17th thing that i learned is it takes work i don't know if this is gonna be really weird but it <laughs> i'm gonna say it because this is the truth because it's something that i've come to realize is it takes work to actually have white teeth i know brushing them twice a day 
and then you can do flossing and then mouthwash and maybe even the teeth whitening kit but if you're just flossing and brushing in twice a day they might kind of be clean but they're not honestly they're not going to be just this like white <laughs> this perfect white i don't know it's weird the 18th thing that i've learned is I am such an outdoor junkie. I hate the mosquitoes and I hate the bugs, but I love the outdoors. Like just a few days ago, I was staying up till 4 a.m. and when I decided to finally go to sleep, I went into our back porch on our like porch swing and I just went through with my blanket and I went to sleep. The 19th and final thing that I have learned through 19 years of my life, getting so old, uh, is that time flies as you get older it's actually insane and not only that it flies by but holidays and birthdays they just don't feel like it anymore as a kid when it's your birthday it, it just feels like your birthday I don't know there's just this feeling that comes with it or it feels like Christmas but as you get older I, the feeling just goes away and it's so sad because I want that feeling I know when it comes, it's not really gonna feel like it. People are gonna be telling me happy birthday and whatever, congratulating me. Do people congratulate you for your birthday? Anyways, I mean, they're gonna be wishing me a happy birthday, but it honestly won't feel like it. Same with Christmas, although I might know it's December 25th. It just doesn't feel like Christmas. Time flies. I'm turning 19, but I remember like it was yesterday me just turning 18 and graduating high school. It's really insane how time flies. Those are the 19 things that I have learned in 19 years. Those are kind of what I thought of on the top of my head. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and you can leave a comment down below because I always read those and um, nice comments, they make my day. And so with that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys! Okay, no, I'm not doing that. The eighth thing that I have learned in nine. The eighth thing that. Number seven. I did number six. The seventh thing that I. This, this is the ninth thing. Um, the ninth thing. The thirteenth thing that I've realized is. Because ultimately, that's what Jesus tells us to do. That is also because ultimately, because ultimately, that's what Jesus. It is actually pretty hard to find a job because it's actually it. It is it actually is kind. It is. I'll be nineteen, and I'm gonna be. I'm turning. I'm turning nineteen. Those are not. <laughs> I don't know. Those are the nineteen. Those are the. Those are the. Those are the.